So number three reportedly sacked five ministers and reshuffle cabinet. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. President Bola Tunubu is expected to implement a cabinet reshuffle any moment from now. According to the Bill newspaper, the president intends to rejig his cabinet, which he inaugurated in August because some of the appointees are struggling in their portfolios and are unprepared for the job. Tunubu, president Tunubu had in November won cabinet members and other top appointees against underperformance during the cabinet retreat at the conference center of the presidential villa in Abuja. You will sign the bond with me. If you are performing, nothing to fear. If you miss the objective, if you do not perform, you leave us. Tunubu declared at a three-day retreat. While redefining the priority areas of his administration, President Tunubu had charged his special advisor on policy coordination, Hadiza Bala Usman, to reactivate the presidential delivery tracker to track and report the performances of his cabinet members. The way will further gather that the president could use the current corruption scandal presently linked to two ministers, that of the interior, Olupome Tunji Ojo, and Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation, Dr. Beta Edu, to implement the changes. While the president, Tunibu, on Monday suspended Edu from office, Tunji Ojo has also been leaked to a firm, New Planet Projects Limited, which received 438 million naira as cause on intensive fees related to the National Social Registrar contract, part of the controversial 3 billion naira contract awarded by EDU. Although the will cannot immediately confirm the minister that took a fire from the cabinet, one of the sources said as many as five could be dropped. A new minister is, however, expected to be named for the Ministry of Labour and Unemployment following the resignation of Simon Bako Lalong, a former Plateau State governor, who resigned from the job to become the senator representing Plateau State Senatorial District in the National Assembly. Now, so it's supposed to be. Now, this kind is I won't hear. See, I keep saying it. Let them be tying the accountability of the ministers to the presidents. Meaning, we get to question Mr. President when his ministers are underperforming, and I've said it before. This thing would not even we are not we are not even supposed to be here. If he picked people who knew their onions, it is not a matter of I know you, you know me. No, I might know you, and you know me, and you I know that you are an engineer. But I have somebody who people have seen his works. People have been recommending him to me. In fact, I have seen his reviews. Oh, this person is wonderful. If he handles your beauty for you, you know, very sweet. He gives you a perfect job. Oh, Mom, I will go for that person. I will leave you. Now, when they break quality between French, you know, patronize me. Because I don't see nobody. They tell me. That is the truth. Except you are really, really good. As in, you are really good. But that is how you should be. You are bringing in people to work with you. You have an objective, you want these people to run with you. You want you want them to push your objective further. You must pick people who are actually qualified, who merit that position. You will not just use it uh, because this person, uh, he worked for me during the election, or he had take. What do you expect? They are not going to be prepared. But if you bring people who know their own means, who they don't even, maybe they don't even know you, it is because of their work you picked them. They will actually be pushed to do or even overwork themselves to make sure they get you to where you're going. Why? You pick them based on merits. You can drop them any moment. So this part, I hope that after dropping these ones that he wants to drop, if this news is true, that he actually wants to drop people, he gets to pick people who he will work with. He gets to pick people who will actually want to. They are eager to serve the nation in their best capacities not people who they are looking for opportunity to come and eat whether i like it or not in this country we have people who are genuine 
who what they want is they want their name to be recorded in the time of history that they were actually actually the ones that kick started us making progress in this country if they like it or not maybe everybody get out here and like you all right the truth of the matter is that some of us that are young are better than some of the mates that based on experience Pick me to handle the ministry or any of the agency and give me three months and I will perform more than expectation. The problem here is that they will never appoint us where they prefer their friends and family members because they help us in Nigeria. And let me say this, if you are an employee, you go into a particular organization, you are hired. It is only proper for you. Even if you know that, okay, this job or this role that, they, that you assumed, you're not too good in it, what will you start doing? You start registering for courses. You start you need self learning. You start wanting to, to improve. That is what you would do. You the older path. You will start getting knowledge and implementing it so that you will become that person that gives out results. But if you they pick you, but again, my I pick me now. Baba cannot discard me. But I like I think they shock them now. If this is true, I like I think give them shocker. Make them go as anybody who under perform. Grass. <laughs> as long as the minister of power is removed, it is okay with me. <laughs> Maybe your president will be minister of power. Tom. Why did you get your story? Until I read it on evil line point. That's what I'm saying. If this is true, where did you get your story? Until I read it on evil line punch. Vanguard, independent, new television. Okay, that is it. That's what I'm saying. If this news is true, if this news is true, then no problem. But I'm not going to be surprised if this is true, if you ask me, because the number of people who are going to be linked to this Edu scandal, huh? that's not the only one person money now. You know how many people go chop inside that thing? How many billion? This huh? more you. I beg my president, I am here. If it is SSA minister, I do not care. I am not too young to work with you, sir. Uh, okay. Mr. President, remember that you were rigged into office. Please don't forget, I don't understand. And you never said anything wrong with that. The leader of corruption is fighting corruption. What a country. We did look in a see. I prefer see, let me say it. He's already the RB. It will even be better if he even fights the corruption. It will change the whole lot of narrative for Nigeria. There is absolutely nothing wrong that you enter through the back door and you start doing right. Is that not what we want? No, wait, we don't want anybody to enter through the back door. But fine, he's already there. And you say making no do well because he entered through the back door, he should keep no now. Two wrong they say cannot make it right. Alright, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest.